The presence of this portrait of Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays will have an obvious physical impact on the space in Swift Hall. Um, I think on the one hand, it's serving as a long overdue reminder of um, the important impact that alums have after they leave this institution. Um, in the spring every year, we honor distinguished alums, and in fact, Benjamin Mays was honored as an alum in uh, 1949. He was the third one to be recognized in that way. But in terms of actually having um, a physical representation of uh, the kind of work that they're doing on the spirit of this place is important. On the other hand, I think it's also making a kind of a symbolic statement about a recognition of a more diverse and colorful past than what always gets represented. Um, and also our interest in kind of cultivating a conversation around community and diversity and collegiality. Um, there's something about the May's uh, legacy in our student body and also in the spirit of democratic change that I think we can use at this moment in time to um, foster new and exciting and rigorous conversations about race in our classrooms and, um, and across the university. When I come into a room and I see, even if it's a minority, even if it's an extreme minority, if I see someone who breaks that aesthetic, who is a member of another group that has been designated as different in our society for whatever reason, but I see someone who is not white, I see someone who is not a man, um, the possibility for me to enter into the site of the institution and the possibility for me to work within that institution, with that institution, and the possibility for me to identify with that institution increases tenfold. It's the first time a person of color uh, is reflected in these portraits that we're also familiar with who recognize former scholars and faculty members of the Divinity School. Dr. Mays was the first African American PhD alumnus. He went on to have an important impact on Howard Divinity School and most importantly on Morehouse College, one of the premier institutions of learning um, for African American men in this country. Uh, Morehouse College, when Dr. Mays inherited it and took the helm as president, uh, was in a nadir moment. Uh, their students were uh, essentially uh, serving in war, and so he went to uh, sharecroppers and farmers all across the states of South Carolina and Florida and Georgia to be able to find young black men to be able to train them up, uh, to recognize that if he can empower their mind, he can transform their world. And so I think this, this portrait, uh, to me, is a reflection of a global consensus of a global man uh, who was birthed through the University of Chicago Divinity School to be able to transform communities and societies and people all over the globe uh, because of the academia and intellectual stimulation he received here at the University of Chicago. And for myself, it's really important, uh, being a, a student, uh, part of a minority here at U Chicago, that shows, that really shows the true spirit of what uh, collegiality and what a university has to be, in the sense that uh, the work of Professor Mays uh, really opened a path, a path among uh, a world that closed its doors. And so some people may think that he's only representing uh, the Afro-American community, but I think he's going much, much farther with this project because he and he embodies the word of resistance, of perseverance, forbearance, and lead us to, to be in a more, um, more connected society. So I'm, I'm really excited to be uh, also a part of this, as I was telling, because this, I think, is going to help for build a better future and be more in, in communication and accordance with ourselves. To be sure, Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays is one of the chief moral leaders of the 20th century. A poor young man born at the turn of the century to sharecroppers went on to inspire thousands of men and women by marrying academia and social justice in order that we can all go a bit higher in our pursuits for excellence. Allow this to be a charge for all the students of the Divinity School, first, second, third year, or wherever you may be, to take on the spirit of this project 
to create a more inclusive space for all students to feel safe, to feel included, to feel that they are a part of the larger project of the University of Chicago. Dr. Benjamin Elijah May said that no man or woman should feel content where they are, but we should always strive for the better. And this is an opportunity to strive for the better for all students.